Uh, I guess, are we live? I guess, can, can you guys see us and hear us? No, yeah, we. Just now. Jesus Christ, everybody, hello! And I have been talking for seven minutes, passionately, in vain, because we just, we were not live. I saw a comment from, <laughs> from who? From, let me see, uh, who said that? Someone, uh, Perry, Perry saved me, Perry said, Tim must have slapped in. And I'm here talking about lithium iron phosphate batteries and how they are better than lithium iron batteries. And what I hear is Perry say, Perry says, uh, Tim must have slapped in. Guys, I was live since 7 p.m., but <laughs> we actually were not live, right? So like, oh, we had some technical problems. Jesus Christ, that's hilarious. Uh, everybody, I'm sorry to make you guys wait. Uh, I swear, we started at 7 p.m. We think we did, we thought we did. Oh, Jesus, man. All right, so guys, I'm sorry. Let's just start all over again. Well, I think I'll just start cold. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Blandy live stream. And guys, stay here for the giveaways that are here. Guys, you know what? Like, I'm a little bit sad because we had like a vivid conversation in the comments, even without me in the studio. And I was like, yeah, people are chatting. Everything is good. Somehow I can't see myself here on the screen. Like there was a, uh, only a thumbnail I could see. And then I was like, and then Perry said, Tim must have slapped in. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> so finally we are now live. Okay. All right. All right, guys. So let me just start all over again, I guess. All right. So uh, what to expect from today's live stream? As always, Blady is very generous. And uh, 20, every 25 minutes we will have giveaways. So we'll start from... Blue Eddy cap, not to get too excited. Uh, blue Eddy cap is a stylish cap right here with a, a blue logo. We'll our second giveaway will be Blue Eddy uh, camping lantern, right? Because you guys, when you go camping, it's dark. You have to have something, you know. And we'll give you this camping lantern. Number three is going to be tableware set, okay? So that you guys are all set for camping. And number four is going to be Blue Eddy mini. Let me get it right. Fridge, bloody mini fridge. Okay, hi, giveaways is for the USA only today or also for Europe. Certain giveaways we can actually ship to Europe. So definitely take part in the giveaways, participate, no worries. Uh, not live on Facebook. Now we are live on Facebook, but thank you for heads up, William. Okay, having made a uh, right owl, a night owl, sorry. Good day from Australia, how do I enter it for the giveaways? Okay. So uh, to enter the giveaways, guys, all you want to do is to wait for this timer, for this countdown to hit zero, then it will turn red and start start flashing. And all you want to do is just keep typing Blue Eddy giveaway, amazing, Blue Eddy's power. Just don't type the same word and don't type too often because YouTube will restrict you from typing. You know, like it will regard it as spam. So this is how you enter the giveaway. And I will take a screenshot, okay, on my phone and whoever's comment is on the bottom wins, Wins, okay? Both streams are working here. Thank you, Chris, for your feedback. Guys, don't forget to give us a like. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't yet subscribed, this is essential for taking part in the giveaways. And let's get started. So, who am I here with? Um, I'm here with EB70S. I'm here with AC300 and B300. Right here, I'm here as AC500 and B300S. And don't worry if you don't remember those names, they're just names. Um, our job here is to understand what power station will fit your needs the best, okay? Because we have awesome products, but do you want to choose the power station that you will really love and uh, love using? Because you can use this thing for like 10 plus years, okay? So it's like a long-term relationship type of thing. So you, you better be enjoying it, right? So they're all good looking, they're all beautiful, our design is amazing. We use the best in the game, lithium iron phosphate batteries, even though it costs us more to produce and we still have to compete with the companies that use inferior lithium iron batteries because these days it's all about marketing, you guys know. Now we still use, we still choose the best lithium iron phosphate batteries, okay? So why are lithium iron phosphate batteries better? Well, because they give you five times the lifespan of lithium iron batteries. So this power station, you know, you never know what's inside. It's an open info, it's not a corporate secret. So you just can go to um, our website or any company's website you wanna buy from and check the battery chemistry. It has to be live pro 4. If it's lithium iron, you know, you'll have around 500 to 1000 cycles 
so you can check that info there on the website. Uh, so for our lithium iron phosphate batteries here for this model, EB70S, you have 2,500 cycles, okay? 2,500 cycles before the battery drops to 80% of the original capacity. So that's why it's so important. The fridge is back. It is. It is. The fridge is back. Okay. Uh, who, okay, guys. Thank you for your comments. How heavy is the AC500? I don't know. You have to ask our cameraman because he, he was the one who helped me lift this AC500. I was like, oh, that's heavy. That's heavy. So let me actually tell you exactly how heavy AC500 is. Surprisingly, it is not going to be as heavy as you probably think because AC500 doesn't have a battery inside, okay? It has no battery. Uh, this is his battery. So AC500 weighs in at 66.2 pounds, okay? Or 30 kilograms, like a big uh, dumbbell in the gym, 30 kilos or 66.2 pounds. Okay, so it's pretty heavy. Uh, how heavy is B300S, just in case you're wondering, guys? Uh, better sit down, you know, don't get too shocked. Guys, it's 3,072 watt hours of best in the game lithium iron phosphate batteries. It even can self heat, right? You can charge this thing, and this is phenomenal. This is our only battery that you can charge under temperatures down to, let me think minus four degrees Fahrenheit or minus 20 Celsius. This is unheard of, okay? Usually lithium iron phosphate batteries, you can only charge them, uh, you cannot let the temperature go below freezing, below zero Celsius or 32 Fahrenheit. Now, with a self heat function, you can charge it under temperatures down to minus four Fahrenheit or minus 20 Celsius. And this thing is 83.8 pounds or 30, eight kilograms that one is heavy you better have someone to lift it together with so but yeah but you will like it it's amazing um exactly you're very uh, you're very right south african uh, this is the nickname right uh some customers are seniors or disabled there should be an option uh for wheels yeah, uh, we do have a um, trolley on the website, so you can buy the trolley. And it's very important people who actually know, you know, that we say this information because we actually received the feedback from people. It's like, I didn't know those are so heavy, I couldn't live them, you know, and I had to call my like neighbors. And yeah, so this is the open information. You can check it out on the website. It is heavy, but there is no way around because we use the best in the game, lithium iron phosphate batteries. Uh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You still have to put it on the table or on desk or or like in the garage or wherever you guys want to put it. So you better have you better have someone someone to lift it together with. Yeah. The trolley is awesome. Thank you. Okay. So we use the best in the game, lithium iron phosphate batteries. Uh, and again, why they are the best? Because they give you five times the runtime of lithium ion batteries. So you have 2,500 cycles, okay, here for this model. For this model is 3,500 cycles, 3,500 cycles before the battery drops to 80% of the original capacity. I don't remember who said that, but someone, some of you guys said that some companies that funny, uh, they list the lifespan like, you know, like 4,000 cycles to 60% or to 50% or like 10,000 cycles to 0%. So what does that mean actually? That means that after 2,500 cycles, after 25 uh, charges and discharges, right, you will still have 80% of the original capacity, okay? So that's, that's how it works. Hello, 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 Rambling Bob Reviews. Okay, guys, we have 33 people on uh, YouTube. Let me check the Facebook comments, guys, our Facebook community. Who is here? Let me see. Don't be shy, guys. Say hi in the comments. We have 18 people on Facebook. Tim Timbo Co, Julie uh, Kachau. Guys, very good to see you here. Hello, viewing from Tennessee. So many, many people from Tennessee. Jennifer Ludman. Uh, who else? Okay, guys. Good to have you here. Donald, uh, Mike, I have a small farm. I, I could use this bloody for many things. Are they upgradable after all the life cycles? Um, are they upgradable after all 
the life cycles are gone. Um, no, no, you, I mean, you cannot replace the battery inside. This is not replaceable, but if you're talking about um, upgrades like firmware upgrades, yeah, we do have them as long as the uh, power station has the Bluetooth. Hello, 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 Steven, Bell, Dan. Guys, very good to see you here. Okay. Uh, speaking about the giveaways, hello from Mexico. Hello to Mexico, Tonio, Mendez. Okay, guys, we are international now. Oh, I have to say that um, the power station we're talking about and the prices and discount codes are only for the USA, but don't get discouraged. You can just go to our website, bladypower.com, and choose your country there. In fact, let me do it right now. And let me see what countries we have available right now. Uh, we have more and more countries. Okay, hello, hello, JR, away from science, Jeff. Hello, okay, let me see. So we have United States, Canada, Europe, Australia, Japan. Uh, Korea, South Korea, right? Uh, Philippines, Indonesia, Nigeria, and South Africa. Those are the countries that you can you you can uh, order to from our website. Uh, what's the minimum watt hour you suggest for CPAP use? Okay, so this is a good one. So CPAP, um, you can check it on your CPAP, right? So you you want to play it safe and. You, don't, you just want to use a power station with sufficient uh, battery capacity. For example, I think EB70S would, would, would do great. So if you want to use it for one night uh, with your CPAP machine, that would be uh, fine. EB70S, the battery capacity is 716 watt hours. Would be enough for your CPAP machine for one night. But definitely don't use something like EB3A. I think it's not really the best option. EB3A's battery capacity is too small. Uh, it's 268 watt hours. Um, can you over panel in parallel? Yes, you can. How long will it work before charging? So, for example, this one is 716 watt hours, right? So, if you are running a 100 watt uh, load, it will work for approximately seven hours, right? So, this is how it works before uh, you have to start charging it. But good news is that you can actually charge it and use it at the same time, and it does not harm the battery, contrary to the common belief. It does not harm the battery, so you can definitely charge from solar panels if you're outdoors, off the grid. You can charge from solar panels while actually using it. Or you can even charge from a wall outlet and use it at the same time. I would say at least 1,000 watt hours to guarantee eight hours of use. Um, okay, yeah, so it's even better. So better get something like, uh, you know what, I think AC180, the one you can see behind me right here, okay. Let me, let me figure it out. So this one right here, AC180, would be great for you. It's 1,152 watt hours and would be awesome. It's not that heavy, by the way. It looks big, it is big, but it's really nice and portable. So you can check AC180 out. Okay, hello everyone. Hello, Laronda Parks. Good to see you. Okay, guys, we have so many comments. <laughs> we have so many comments. Uh, don't forget to follow, subscribe. Um, yeah, life for four is just heavy due to the nature of the capacity requiring the weight. Yes, that's absolutely right. Thank you for explaining that because we can have both. But you know what? Good, good news that lithium ion is not that much less heavy, in fact. So would you sacrifice five times the runtime for just like a couple of pounds of weight? I would not. I think lithium iron phosphate are the best. Uh, how would this compare to a Gen Generac or Tesla home system? I mean, <laughs> uh, I mean, you can check it out. You can check Tesla out. So uh, we're not trying to compete with Tesla P Powerwall. Okay, um, those generators are definitely comparable. So like uh, AC five hundred, B two hundred S. You can basically or AC three hundred and B two hundred. What you can do is you. Can actually, you can actually um, back up all, all your essential loads from them, and you can and you can even connect two AC 500s together, okay? Um, so that with the fusion box, there's this box, you know, this fusion box, and you will have one output to 140 volts. So we'll definitely back up all of your essential loads for days. Hello, hello, uh, lithium phosphate. Yeah, hello, Kathy. Okay, guys. All right, one kilowatt battery. 
All right, guys, so let's kick things off with EB70S. I do know, guys, that many of you are familiar with EB70S, so just bear with me because we do ha have some new people here. So uh, the most important thing is the battery chemistry is lithium iron phosphate. So with that out of the way, what else? The battery capacity, okay? Uh, the higher the battery capacity is, the longer you can run your devices, okay? So the battery capacity here is 716 watt hours. So what does that mean? To put it very simple, you can run a 100 watt device for 7.16 hours, okay? Of course, it can be, it actually will be a little bit shorter than that because of the inverter's efficiency and because the battery will not discharge to zero all the time. It will show you zero, right? But you guys know that the battery actually reserves around 10% of the capacity because it would be not optimal for the lifespan for the battery to discharge to zero every time. So even when it shows you zero, it actually keeps around 10%, right? So you can run a 100 watt device for seven hours from this uh, power station. So here are some real, like real world examples. You know, let's say you want to run your mini blender and the blender is around 600 watts. Just met a friend yesterday. He likes making juice, ju juices. So he like has this juicer and he says it takes him around half an hour to make uh, juices for the whole week. He just throws them in a plastic bottle and so stores them in, a in his fridge. So this EB70S can run a, a juicer or, or a blender of 600 watts for one hour, okay? So that will be enough for my friend to make juices for two weeks, you know? So just imagine um, he has his morning routine, like I don't know, on Sunday, on Monday to, to make enough bottles of juice for the whole week. And then he finds out, oh my God, there is a power outage. So what he can do is he can actually use EV70S and connect his juicer to EV70S and run a blender for one hour from EV70S. If you wanna make some coffee for your, uh, some, some ice for coffee and using the ice maker, okay, it can run your ice maker for two hours and 12 minutes. Uh, the ice maker would be around 250 watts. If you want to run a slow cooker, like the one you cook rice in, right? Around 100 watts. You can run it for 2.7 hours. Uh, you can run a 75 watt TV for 6.9 hours. You can run a 100 watt fridge for, for 5.3 hours. You can run a 80 watt power tool for six and a half hours. Uh, speaking about charging your phones, so you can do it many times. You can charge your iPhone, for example, iPhone 12. You can charge it 43.5 times. You can charge your MacBook Air 24.9 times. You can charge your 16 watt hour camera 33.9 times and mini drone 24.9 times. So that's a lot of charges, right? So it handles your DC electronics with ease and it can also run some of the like loads like 12 volt compressor fridge or USB fans or uh, even full-size refrigerators, you can back it up for a couple of hours. Okay, so another thing we have to know is what is the maximum AC load here? And we actually say it right here. If you guys take a look here, it says 800 watts, okay? So this AC inverter, it accepts 800 watts maximum. What does that mean? If you want to connect a device that is 1,000 watts, okay? it cannot handle it. It will overload the EB70S. So please only connect devices within 800 watts. Now about voltage, it's standard 120 volts. Um, so it's standard in the USA and Canada. And by the way, guys, I know you guys, some of you guys are watching us from Australia, from Europe, uh, for Europe or from, for Australia, we have the same power stations, but like with, with wall outlets for your country and with voltage and with frequency for your country. Okay, so it's time for our first giveaway. Let's get started. Our first giveaway is going to be Blue Eddy Cap. So guys, what you want to do is just start typing Blue Eddy right now, Blue Eddy uh, giveaway. And let's do YouTube first and then Facebook. So I'm here on YouTube. I can see you guys' comments. So guys, keep doing, keep typing Blue Eddy right now, Blue Eddy Power, that's right, that's right. Okay, so uh, let's see guys who wins our bloody cap i definitely love our bloody cap it's super stylish it has this blue logo on it 
and all you want to guys is keep typing blue eddy and let's go 10 second countdown starting now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 let's go okay so who is the winner let's see it's d y l d y l congratulations d y l congratulations you won our bloody cap so uh dear d y l please email us livestream at blueeddy.com and send us your shipping info so we can ship your giveaway to you now about facebook for some reason, the my Facebook app stopped working. It just keeps saying something's wrong. Try again later. Blah blah blah. So um, I don't want to try again later. I want to try now. So I'll just do it on my laptop. And guys on Facebook, all you want to do is just keep typing uh, Blue Eddy, okay? And I'll just do the giveaway on my laptop just like this. All right. So I'll take a screenshot. So 10 second countdown. Same thing, guys. Keep typing. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let's go. Okay, so the screenshot is taken and let's see who's the winner. So the winner is Jennifer Ludman. Jennifer Ludman, congratulations. Okay, so please send us an email. Our email address is livestream at blueeddy.com. Again, it's livestream at blueeddy.com. Make sure you send us your shipping information so we can ship your giveaway to you. That was our first giveaway, guys. If you like and or enjoy the giveaways, please give us a like. That helps us really to um, keep doing those giveaways. We have been doing them consistently for over one year now. It's pretty remarkable, remarkable if you think about it. So guys, definitely give us a like and support. We have 21 likes right now on um, YouTube and we have a bunch of likes on Facebook. So make sure guys hit the like button. Okay, cool. Now our second giveaway is going to be in 25 minutes and it's going to be Camping Lantern. Some of you guys like Bob already have that lantern, the camping lantern. Tell us, is it any good? Do you guys like it? I saw this camping lantern, I absolutely love it. Uh, the, the light is really nice and warm and you really need it when you go camping because when you're outdoors, there are no lights, like in a city, um, you know, you want something to light your path and you don't want to use your phone's flashlight. You want to use actual <laughs> bloody camping lantern. Okay, cool guys, so uh, let's keep going. So the maximum here is 800 watts, but what is the surge power? You know, when you plug a device with a motor or an inductor, you will have this spike. And it's just a very short spike, less than a second, but you want to make sure the surge power is sufficient. And the surge power for EV70S is 1,400 watts, okay? So 1,400 watts maximum, then when it drops down, it has to stay below 800 watts, okay? We can run most appliances. We can run hair dryers. We can run some waffle makers, some ice makers. We can even brew coffee. Well, coffee, I'm not certain, right? Invents in a coffee machine. What else? We can boil water and things like that. Okay, let me see. Lantern gives off a surprising amount of light. Uh, okay, let me check some comments. Let me check some comments. I have two in my RV and we love them, says Bob. Yeah, Bob, and we love your channel. Okay. Um, so has there been any talk about fixing the contest? I, I'm not sure what you mean about fixing the, contact, the contest. All right, guys, I appreciate every uh, single comment, all the feedback. Uh, washing machine, no, 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 <laughs> no, immediately no. You cannot run a washing machine from EV70S, come on. You can run a washing machine from AC300 or AC500, but not from EV70S. Um, okay, great brand, thank you, Rich. Okay, so guys, uh, 800 watts. Uh, we have a warranty for two years, okay? <laughs> uh, so the, you guys have this peace of mind. All right, what else? How big is it, by the way? Because 
uh, maybe it's hard to tell, right? So it's 12.6 inches by 8.5 inches here and by 8.7 inches and weighs in at 21.4 pounds. Let me give you guys matrix. It's 32 centimeters by 22 centimeters by 22 centimeters and 9.7 kilograms. What do we have in the box? You know, it's an amazing power station as long as it's full of power. When it's out of charge, what are you going to do? You want to make sure you have enough methods to recharge it, right? And unlike some companies I'm a big fan of, we give you guys everything you need to recharge this power station in the box. We don't want to include anything that will not be used by everybody because we don't want to augment the cost, right? We, of course, like every company, we want to give you guys the best price, but we do give you guys the essential charging accessories. That includes a uh, wall, charging cable, wall charging cable and an adapter, solar charging cable and a car charging cable, okay? So let me show you those cables right now. So this is the adapter. Uh, here's the thing, for certain power stations, we don't need an, an adapter. All we need is just a charging cable. But EB70S is an earlier model. It's been a couple of years now. So we still use an adapter. It's not terrible, you know, it's just not as advanced as for some other power stations from, from Blue Yeti. So you'll be using this T200S adapter, okay? This adapter is 25.2 volts and eight amps. So slightly over 200 watts, which is perfect for, for EV70S because EV70S accepts 200 watts uh, from adapter maximum. Let me show you guys how to recharge from an adapter. Okay. So just for the record, so, so nobody gets confused, we don't have the US wall outlets here in the studio. So I'll be using EP500 uh, power station it will be acting as a wall outlet. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug my adapter in a, our imaginary wall outlet right now. And the fans kicked off and I guess the light is here. Green means it did, not, it did not start charging yet. And we plug this and let me see where, okay. Right, so in here. This is the uh, input, right? So just plug it in. It's really a plug and play solution. And you guys see we have 191 watts of input right now from a wall outlet. This bar is moving. Do you guys like this color? I love this color, beautiful blue color. Uh, 197 watts of input right now. We'll charge it in no time, okay? In fact, how many hours do you, th do you guys think it will take us to recharge EB70S from zero to 100% from this adapter? Take a guess. It will take us four hours to recharge from zero to 100%, only four hours. And in less than three hours, it will be already at 80%. So three hours to 80% and four hours to 100%. Just with this adapter and this adapter is included in the box. What else is included in the box? Okay, let me show you the other cables. Let me show you the other cables. I put them here. And those are car charting cable, a car charting, a car charting cable and a solar charting cable. So there we go. So this is a solar charging cable, okay? So this is the same input. We only have one input on EB70S, okay? And those are MC4 connectors. MC4 connectors. MC4 connectors are universal. You can use them with any solar panels. Well, with most solar panels on the market, okay? Unlike some other brands, we don't limit you guys to only using our solar panels. You can actually use any solar panels. Okay, there we go. And we, so guys, take a guess. How low will it take you to recharge from solar panels from zero to 100%? How many hours? Let me see. Let me see your comments. Okay, so believe it or not, it will only take us four and a half hours to recharge from zero to 100% entirely from solar panels. And those results are not laboratory results. Those are real world uh, results. 
So under good solar conditions, it will take us around four and a half hours to recharge from zero to 100%. And it will only take us 3.2 hours to recharge from zero to 80%. And all you need is one Bluetti PV200 portable solar panel. Now you can just get any other panel on the market that you want, but if you're looking for a portable one, for a high quality one, for a really convenient to carry around, guys, I can recommend P200 enough. It's really great. Bluetti P200 is amazing. Its open circuit voltage is 26.1 volts, which is perfect for the voltage limitations here, which is from 12, 28 volts. So 26.1 volts is there on the higher end, and it's perfectly compatible with EB70S, as well as with other uh, models of ours, like EB55, EB3A, and AC60, and B80, and so many other power stations. So it's compatible because the voltage is compatible, right? Also, you can use PV200 with bigger power stations of ours too, but for that, you need a couple of them, and then you wanna connect them in series. So PV200 is really a risk-free investment for you guys. You will get a high quality portable solar panel you can use on the go. You will not share it, you will not break it, you will not scratch it, well, scratching maybe, but uh, at least you will not break it. It's only 16.1 pounds or 7.3 kilograms. Really lightweight. It is a uh, very smart design. It has the kickstands, has the cables that are built in, in, in the solar panel, so you will never, never lose them. The length is sufficient. Just aesthetically uh, pleasing look. The design is awesome. You know what? Let me just show you the PV200 solar panel. I have it uh, right here next to me. So here is the PV200, Bloody PV200 portable solar panel. There you go. Okay, this is PV200. So we have this carrying handle right here, real nice carrying handle. We also have the kickstands. So the kickstands purpose is to help you guys choose the best angle, the optimal angle. And here we have, as you guys can see, we have one, two, three, four buttons. So you can just choose the angle that fits a uh, particular time of the day or season or both. So like, for example, if it's noon, 12 p.m., just lay it flat on the ground, right? But if it's not noon, if it's early morning or if it's around evening, you want to choose the, uh, the best angle because this is the thing that will affect how much input you, ha you have from your solar panels, right? So we have uh, those uh, kickstands here. We also have the cable right here. Okay. With standard MC4 connectors. We have all the technical details here. You guys can take a look if you want to. The most important thing, of course, is the open circuit voltage, and it's 26.1 volts. You have to check this number before you connect it to any power station because you don't want to connect a solar panel with a voltage that is too high. That would harm the device. So 26.1 volts is perfect for all of our smaller power stations. Here it shows you the temperature you can use it under. It shows you other things like the lamination of, um, and efficiency, which is very high. So this is not a rooftop solar panel, right? You don't want to mount it on your rooftop. It would be a waste of solar panels and waste of money. But uh, compared to rooftop solar panels, their efficiency is, is around 19 to 20%. This one is 23.4%. So you will get really nice results from this uh, PV200 panel. And it's very easy to connect it to uh, any of our power stations. Let me just show you guys how to do that. So number one, we want to make sure that the kickstands are pointing down, like right now, and we want to open up the solar panel. Okay, as you guys can see, we have multiple kickstands here. Okay, so you want to use those kickstands, choose the angle, and we have three kickstands. There we go. Okay, and now we have to connect it to our power station, right? So let me move this chair so we can switch the camera and show you guys 
the PV200. So, and now I'm going to connect it to uh, EB70S. So for that, we need that solar charging cable. And as you guys remember, the solar charging cable is included in the box of EB70S. There we go. Standard MC4 connectors. And we'll take the cable from uh, PV200. Right here. Okay, and we're gonna connect them just like this. So one and two. And take a look, guys. EV70S is now charting. You can see that bar moving. Well, obviously, we are in a studio, no sunlight, not even a window. Um, but you guys can see that the bar is moving and it's charting. So that's how you charge from a solar panel. And all we need is just one PV200 portable solar panel. Okay. Yeah, that, that's it. Cool. Okay. Now, there is one more way to recharge. And yeah, it accepts 200 watts of solar input maximum. The voltage limitations, again, are from 12 to 28 volts and 8 amps. Don't worry about amperage because it has an amp PVT controller. But do choose a solar panel with a compatible voltage. Okay, let me see some questions if we have any. Yeah, I'm getting zero watts in. That's for sure. That's for sure. Because we are like, there is no... There is no windows here. Uh, we're in a studio, underground. No, not underground, but yeah. Uh, okay. Taking some other comments. Thank you. Yeah, I like the P200 panel. Uh, it's really good looking too. All right. One way is to charge uh, from your vehicle. So this cable is also included in the box. Plug in here and plug this in your car when you're on the go. So, um, if you just charge from your 12 volt and 10 amp cigarette lighter port, how long do you guys think it will take us to recharge from 0 to 100%? Nine and a half hours, right? For not a short time. Nine and a half hours to recharge from 0 to 100% from a 12 volt and 10 amp cigarette lighter port. Uh, if you have a 24 volt and 10 amp input source, it will take you five hours to recharge from 0 to 100% and 3.6 hours to recharge to 80%. So uh, definitely don't rely on car charting too much because it's, I mean, it's, it takes a long time uh, just because of obvious reasons because we have eight amps here, eight amps of input and you will get around 80 watts from your 12 volt antenna amp cigarette lighter port. So it's quite slow. So you want to prioritize solar charging um, when necessary charge from a wall outlet, totally fine. By the way, you can also charge from a generator, just in case you want, you can also charge from a generator. Yeah, and from your car, if you, honor, uh, if you are, you know, driving for hours, yeah, you can plug it in your car, you will recharge it a little bit. Okay, so EB70S is fantastic. Let me guys show you the outputs and the screen. So on the very top, we have this wireless charging pad which is 15 watts maximum. So what is this wireless charging pad for? Well, most commonly used for phones, right? So place your phone here on the top. Next thing you wanna do is to turn DC on. You see guys, there is, uh, it doesn't work because we have to turn DC on. And DC is here, I just click this button, turn DC on and boom, there we go. Now it starts charging. So as long as your phone supports wireless charging and most phones do, Go ahead and use this wireless charging pad. You don't need cables, so it's just great. Okay, now, what else do we have here? So as you guys can see here, we have two USB-C ports. Those are called PD 3.0, and they are quick charge USB-C ports, which is um, 100 watts, and we have two of them, 100 watts. So I can use this output to recharge my, both, of, both my iPhone and my, my MacBook. Let me show you guys what I mean. It's really, I can't see it. I can't see the power station. It's really hard to find this output. Uh, output. All right, so uh, I'm gonna plug it to my, I'm gonna plug it in my laptop right now and see if we can charge it. So 13 watts, 20, 30 watts. 
32 watts. Fantastic. I'm turning my MacBook right now. Works perfectly. Okay. And I can also charge one more laptop or maybe something else uh, because we have one more USB, uh, one more PD 3.0 port right here and what we have in here is a 5 volt and 3 amp USB A port this is your standard USB A port it's not a quick charge it's around 15 watts right 5 volts and 3 amps here we have two DC5521 barrel connectors those are 12 volts and 10 amps so 120 watts maximum you guys probably recognize this output this is 12 volt and 10 amp cigarette lighter port or a car powered socket for your mini fridges and many other devices. So those are our DC outputs, okay? And remember, the wireless charging pad here on the top also belongs to DC. So if you want to charge your phone wirelessly, make sure to turn DC on like right now. And when you're done using it, turn it off to avoid the idle consumption, to avoid the parasitic load, okay? So remember to turn on when you use it and turn off when you're done using it. And it's even more true for the AC outlets because AC outlets are very powerful. You have four wall outlets here and those are 800 watts, 120 volts with a surge power of 1400 watts. And as long as it's under 800 watts, it will be a pure sine wave inverter. So you guys can rest assured that you give your devices nice charting without harming them. Not even a little bit, you can run some medical devices, you can run very sensitive devices, no problem. <clears throat> we have What we have here is a built-in light. Now attention, it's gonna be very bright, so you can turn on right now. It has three modes, this is medium, this is high, and this is SOS, okay? So it's quite bright as you guys can see, and it only draws around one watt. And you can turn off from here. Now the screen shows us the most important things. On the top we have input, that is how many watts are coming in. For example, if we are charging it from a wall outlet, it will show us how many watts are coming in. That is important, even, if, even though it does not show us the time, but you will very, very quickly get used to that and you will be able to say, oh, for example, you know, 8, 150 watts, that's nice. 80 watts, that's too low, or like, 50 watts is too low. So we're turning from a wall outlet right now and on the top you will see the input. Okay. Now let's connect some devices. Let's connect this laptop. Turn it on. So we're getting 199 watts in and we're drawing uh, 13. We're pulling out 22, 24 watts. Let's add on my phone. Okay. So 28 watts, and we're getting 199 watts in. Let's add this waffle maker. The manufacturer says that this waffle maker pulls around 600 watts. So let's plug this waffle maker in and turn AC on and start this waffle maker. And guys, you, you guys uh, take a look here. It's 726 watts remember we cannot go over 800 watts okay so perfect we're getting we're pulling out 732 watts and we also are charting it we're getting 189 watts in the screen will turn off itself after one minute or so so all you want to do is click any of those buttons so just click this button and the screen is back on I know you guys might find it to be a little bit annoying, but it's not terrible, you know. Even 70s is still a great power station. So um, let me see, guys, if we have some comments. I love your comments, guys. Let me see. Yeah, thank you for your suggestion, Quick um, My Thrill. Thank you. Uh, our team is definitely will definitely take a look at that. Tim's positive energy on his life uh, allows bloody solar panels to bring in thousands of watts of energy. That's such an inspiring sentence, Bob. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let me check some Facebook comments. We have some Facebook comments. Um, mostly looking for questions. Can you charge from a 600 watt inverter mounted in my truck? 
Let me think about it. Yes, yes, I, I agree with JD Willager. You should be able to. Right. So guys, right now it's been a couple of minutes, right? We don't have that much time to show you guys the full process of charting, but you guys see that we're pulling out 719 watts and also mind you we're charging uh, my laptop my MacBook uh, my iPhone and we also running a waffle maker so this is both AC and DC devices at the same time while also charging it and let me actually touch EB7TS and tell you if it's hot or not and I'm gonna be honest with you okay so the top is a little bit warm a little bit right but this is the wall electric pad it has to be like this my phone is not warm oh, yeah okay my phone is a little bit warm a little bit and the fans are cool literally so cool I love it adapter is cool oh my god I can even feel this wind coming from this this fan right here it's a push and pull fan really nice cool wind by the way guys just in case you didn't notice we have this carrying handle here nice ergonomic design no room wasted you know you can just place it like this you can place your phone on the top you can place your laptop on the top you're not wasting any space beautiful look guys you wouldn't be you would not even be able to tell we have a carrying handle here would you I love it let me know what you guys think about it Okay. All right, guys. So that is EB70S. Let's check out the price for EB70S right now. And the market price is a dollar for a watt hour. We have been able to offer some amazing deals like 80 cents for a watt hour, sometimes even 70 cents for a watt hour. Let's check out what the price is right now for this beautiful 716 watt hour and um, 800 watt inverter portable power station. Let's check it out, guys. Just click the link in the description it will lead you to our website so you can learn more about eb70s and make a purchase if you decide like this this is the power station that fits your needs um the best i'm just trying to unplug it right now okay so eb70s the price is 499 dollars so how do we even know if it's a good price look first of all you can use it for 10 plus years forget plus thing 10 years so 10 years now it's easy to divide by 10 so that means it will cost you 49.9 dollars every year guys let me ask you a question would you buy this power station to back up your essential loads like refrigerators at home during power outages you know so you don't waste food and you don't have all the, those chores with uh, your fridges where you have to you know take the food out and just come with ideas to keep it fresh during power outages it will cost you 49.9 a year and a market price is dollar for watt hour so what are we having here it's 499 divided by 716 that is watt hours it's only 69 cents for a watt hour 80 cents is a good deal already and we we are at 69 cents and remember you have a two-year warranty so you know what to do click the link in the comments after the giveaway and this is our second giveaway so guys how do you enter the giveaway the same way you entered the first giveaway just keep typing blue eddie and i'm gonna go to the youtube channel and i'm gonna take a screenshot right now in 10 seconds okay guys make sure you press the like button thank you so much okay so let's go guys let's do youtube first and we're giving away our second giveaway so let's go 10 second countdown right now uh, i'm sorry is it a t-shirt yeah. okay it's a t-shirt all right uh blue eddy t-shirt the white iconic blue eddy t-shirt 10 9 8 Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Okay, so let's see who won our second giveaway, which is a t shirt. 
and it's a silver stealer congratulations silver stealer now please send us an email to, uh, uh, live stream at blueeddy.com send us your shipping info now let's go on facebook and let me take a screenshot on facebook so we can see who wins here okay beautiful so there we go all right guys so we have a lot of pinned comments but let me go to new comments there we go there we go okay so 10 second countdown right now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 one let's go okay and the screenshot is taken and let's see who is the winner and it's julie kacha congratulations julie congratulations <laughs> julie you won our uh bloody t-shirt so please send us your shipping info and guys request a t-shirt with uh, go two sizes up our t-shirts run small so go two sizes up of what you normally wear this is not my observation this is what have been reported uh, by our community. So yeah guys make sure you uh, email us our email address is livestream at blueeddy.com and send us your shipping info. Now EV70S the link is in the comments and in the description. All you want to do is click this link and learn more about EV70S and purchase it if you think it's a good fit for you. Again think about it as $49.9 a year over the course of 10 years because you'll be able to use it for 10 plus years and think about it as only 69 cents for a watt hour for premium lithium iron phosphate batteries where the market price is one dollar for a watt hour now 69 cents for a watt hour is such a good deal so guys let me be transparent with you eb70s does not have some cool features our newer models have like app control ups mode which is an uninterrupted power supply mode or quick charge or charging without adapter just with a cable it does not have all those all of those cool features because it's an earlier model but guess what it still gets the job done and many of you guys i know don't need that uh, cool features so you just want to get a nice solid power station with best in the game batteries eb70s is fantastic so one little thing I forgot to mention about EB70S, and it has to do with the screen, um, and it will help you use it more wisely and efficiently. So let me put this waffle maker here, and I can show you guys the screen. I'm talking about eco mode. So what is eco mode? You guys can see we have this e uh, input and eco right here. So eco mode. What it will do, it will turn off your AC inverter in four hours if it senses there is no load or the load is lower than 10 watts, okay? And it will turn off your DC inverter in four hours if it has, it senses no load or the load is lower than one watt, okay? So it does so to help you more efficiently use your battery, you know, very smart. Since it's no load, turns off. If you're running some 12 volt compressor fridges and you're worried about um, eco mode not working well with them, you can actually turn off very easily. Let me show you how to do that. So just long press these two buttons and then you enter settings mode and click this button and you see what happened? Eco mode is gone. That's it. Click this button again, eco mode is back on. And to exit the settings mode, Long press these two buttons again. Beautiful. EV70S 499. That is only 69 cents for a watt hour. Let's move on. The next part of our today's collection, which is going to be, let's see what we have in the description. AC300 and B300, a modular solar generator your mobile modular solar generator. That's a lot of adjectives, I know. So, uh, <laughs> have you guys heard about A300 and B300? Have you? Let me know in the comments. Okay, let me see your comments, guys. All right. 
I love how our community, especially Waveform Science Jeff, replies to so many questions, really helping out uh, people who have questions because I, I, I not always see uh, all of the, I don't always see all of the questions, so I really appreciate it, Jeff. Um, yeah, okay, let me see if we have any questions. Okay. All right, cool. So, um, doesn't seem like we have any questions and the Blue Eddy official replies to your questions too. So, that's awesome. Let me check Facebook. Should we have some uh, comments on Facebook? Okay. I just tested the uh, 70. That's amazing. Okay, let me see. Okay, cool. All right, so let's keep going. Let's talk about AC300, guys. And AC300 is different from EV70S. So here's how it works. You know, you can have solar panels and you can just charge your device with solar panels and the idea behind a 300 was really to store solar power you know so you can store solar power somewhere so you can charge it on sunny days and you can use it let's say on cloudy days you know so it's really cool so let's take a look at ac300 which is a modular solar generator it works it only works with a battery so it does require a battery to work with and the only battery it works with is B300. So guys, remember to purchase at least one B300 if you purchase A300. In fact, we say it requires B300 to work. Remember that. So B300 is a 3072 watt hour battery. All, all you need is just one battery for A300 to work, okay? One battery, but you can connect two. You can connect three or four. Four is the limit, four is maximum. Also, you can connect two ACE 300s together, okay? So you can now connect maximum four batteries to one unit and four to the other. And you connect ACE 300s with a communication cable and with a fusion box, now we have a 240 volt output, okay? So let's take a look at what outputs a300 has because I promise you guys will see some cool outputs. All right, so let's let's take a look. All right, so on the top we have uh, not one but two wireless charging pads. Each of them is at 15 watts. One here and the other one is here, so you can charge two phones at the same time. Two 15 watt wireless charging pads. Now what we have here is a 12 volt and 30 amp RV plug. Take a look, guys. It's like aviation port type of plug. RV plug. For guys who live in RVs or who travel in RVs or spend a lot of time there, it's an essential one to have. It's 12 volt and 30 amp RV plug. What we have here, you guys can see it better than me, is 24 volt and 10 amp cigarette lighter port, right? And warning, warning, it's 24 volts DC output only. Don't mix with DC uh, 12 volts. And you're probably thinking, oh, that's terrible because I have this one device that only supports 12 volts. But guess what, guys? We do have a standard 12 volt and 10 amp cigarette lighter port on B300 battery. And remember, you absolutely require at least one B300 battery for A300 to work. So don't worry, you will have at least one 12 volt and 10 amp cigarette lighter port here. But guess what? In most cases, 24 volt NAMP is superior, more stable connection, faster charting, just great. Okay, so what do we have here is a USB-C port. USB-C port, and this USB-C port is 100 watts. That is quick charge, again, iPhones, MacBooks, you name it. Next, we have USB-A port right here. We have one pair of USB-A ports, and those bluish parts kind of give it away. Yes, you're right, it is a quick charge USB-A port, 18 watts. Okay, we have two quick charge USB-A port. What we have here is a 5 volt and 3 amp or approximately 15, amp, 15 watts USB-A ports. So one more pair of USB-A ports can never go wrong with having more USB-A ports, but this one is a standard charge, not a quick charge, okay? So you have four USB-A ports in total. Two of them are quick charge, two of them are standard. Uh, what we have here is 
wall outlets. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, 20 amp max, 120 volt, and 3000 watt wall outlets, okay? 3000 watts maximum, and the surge power is 6000 watts. And what we have here is one 30 amp max NEMA or NEMA TT30. And this is to recharge your vehicle. You can actually charge your RV from here. In fact, if you take a closer look here, it, it's very inconspicuous, but it says recre recreational vehicle use only 30 amp max. So this is essential for folks who like traveling uh, in their RVs, like camping guys will definitely love this one. 30 amp NEMA TT30, okay. Let's take a look at the outputs of B300. And it's good because of two reasons. Number one, just can never go wrong with having more high efficiency outputs. Look, a 12 volt and 10 amp cigarette lighter port, a USB-C port, quick charge, 100 watts, and a USB-A port, quick charge, 18 watts. And if you, these three outputs are enough for you, you don't even need the main unit to use this one. So you can just take this one, B300, with you. You don't even need the main unit, you know? But obviously, you do need the battery for the main unit to function. Now, it does not matter how many batteries you connect to your A300, one, two, three, or four. If you wanna start it, all you have to do is just click this button right here. So simply press this button, and let's zoom out a little bit, because I wanted to show something very important. Yeah, let's zoom out so we can see the yeah, so we can see the this button here. So when I click this button, guys, you see this one turns on first and then kind of powers the main unit. You see how, how it happens? Now you guys can uh, better understand that this is the battery, you know? It's just an external one, but this is the battery, okay? Look at this, look at what we have here. This is pretty good, good looking screen. Do you guys want to talk about the screen? Do you want to know what the screen shows us? Let me check the comments. Okay. All right, we have a nice conversation here. Uh, in the comments, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to interrupt. And let's take a look at the screen, guys. So, oh, I think it's too bright, right? I'm actually going to turn this brightness down a little bit. So let's go to settings. And now it's better, isn't it? Okay, so what we have here, uh, okay, maybe a little bit brighter. You can figure it out yourself, guys. All right. So, so on the screen we have date and time here. So it doesn't matter. You know, you always remember what year is it and what what time is it and what day is it. Sometimes very useful. Okay. So we have a PV input here. So this is how many watts are coming in from solar panels, and we'll have DC one input voltage, DC one input power. So we we can see the voltage the wattage, we can see DC2 input voltage and DC2 input power. Let's go back. And you're probably now wondering, what is the maximum um, rate we can charge it at? So believe it or not, but it accepts 2,400 watts from solar panels, guys. 2,400 watts from solar panels. Uh, the voltage limitations is from 12 to 150 volts and 12 amps by two. So 2,400 watts maximum from solar panels. And you will see uh, DC1 in input voltage, DC1 input power, DC2 input voltage, and DC2 input power. And you're probably wondering, why DC1 is a two? I don't understand. Guys, let me just show you and you will get it immediately. Look guys, this is your solar charging cable. So we don't need any adapters. This is what it looks like, okay? And look guys, we don't give you one pair. We give you guys two pairs of AMC port connectors. Now you guys get it why it's DC1 and DC2 because we give you guys two pairs of AMC four connectors. Because why not? It's better than one. So we want you guys to have two. All right, what else? Let's take a look at the grid. So grid here. AC input voltage, AC input power, and AC input frequency. So what is the maximum speed we can charge it from grid at? Well, believe it or not, you can get as high as 3,000 watts from grid. Now, let me make it very clear. I don't want you guys to have a, to, to, uh, high expectations. To get 3,000 watts, 
you absolutely have to have 30 amps and 120 volts. I believe you guys all have 120 volts, right? But not everybody has 30 amps. So if you have 30 amps and 120 volts, and you also have a 30 amp AC charging cable, NEMA L1430, yes, then you can get 3000 watts maximum. But if you don't need this much, again, the only difference is that you will be just charging a little bit slower, you can get up to 1,800 watts in, just with 120 volt and 15 amp input source, like at your standard wall outlet. Okay, let's go back. So here we have DC load. We can see total DC output power, 24 volt, 10 amp output power, 12 volt, 30 amp output power, and USB PD wireless output power. Let's go back. So AC load, we can see total output voltage, output power, output frequency, and output state. You turn DC outputs off, uh, sorry, on. This is like this part, this part, the wireless turning pads. Simply click this button and then on, okay? And now you can use all of them. Turn them off, click here, and now they're off. Turn AC outputs on, click this button here, on, and now you can use all of them. And turn them off like this, beautiful. Now, if you click here, what you can see is the battery information. So. Uh, we can connect four batteries maximum. Now we connected only one battery. We can see the battery state of charge, the battery online, the battery state, okay? And we can see three more potential batteries information right here. Uh, settings. We can change language from English to Japanese. We can also go ahead and switch it back to English. And we can change AC output voltage from 120 volts to 100 volts. We can change the frequency from 6 to hertz to 50 hertz, but again, guys, for most of us, we'll not be doing that. So we just need standard 120 volts and 60 hertz, like in, in the USA or in Canada. DC1 input source can be PV or others, and DC2 input source PV or others. If you're wondering why it's switching back, that's because I enabled parallel, so I'm just gonna go ahead and disable parallel, and now I can switch it from PV to others, no problem, and it's not jumping back. Okay, so if you're turning from PV with your DC1, and again, I'm just bring this cable again because I know it's confusing. Look, I understand. So we have two pairs, DC1 and DC2, right? So you can set this one, if you're turning from solar panels, choose PV, PV, photovoltaic solar panels. If you're turning from any other, like maybe from your car, choose others. Same here, PV2, uh, DC2, PV, or others. Okay, all right. Let's go next, eco, eco mode on or off? I'll keep it on. Again, I will turn off my AC inverter after four hours to save power. I want it on, if you don't want it on, good, turn it off. Machine type, single phase or split phase? How many AC 300s are we using? One, so it's a single phase. If we use two, split phase. Now guys, if I click split phase right now, you will, you will hear an alarm. So I just want to guys, I just want to show you what an alarm is. Let's try now. I am clicking split face on purpose. I know I will receive an alarm. No, I won't because it actually, oh yeah, I, I will. So you guys can hear it, alarm, okay? So what do we do in this case? We want to try, we want to find the cause. Now in this case, I know is because I set it to the wrong mode split phase where it has to be a single phase. So I just gonna wanna go here and change it to single phase. But let's say I don't know what's going on, okay? I'm panicking. This sound is terrible and I'm, I'm anxious and I don't know what to do. I just go and click alarms here and it shows me phase integration error. Like phase integration error? What do you mean by that? Let's go back, I'll go to settings and I see, oh, machine type, and it says phase. Oh, okay, phase, all right. I'm just gonna go and set it from split phase to single phase. And now we, don't we no longer have an alarm. 
guys, we just created a problem and we solved the problem. So doesn't that feel good? <laughs> All right, let's go to settings. What else? Uh, working mode. I love this one. We have uninterrupted power supply, you know, and what can be better than having an uninterrupted power supply? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Having four uninterrupted power supplies, one, two, three, and four. So do you want it to be standard UPS? Guys, and if you get, if you think it's overwhelming, just bear with me, guys. I, I promise it's really very simple. So what is UPS? UPS is an uninterrupted power supply for your devices. So you can set it to standard UPS. This is an offline UPS. You have an explanation here and no, I will not be reading from the screen because you probably don't enjoy listening to me re reading from the screen. Next we have um, time control UPS. Very self-explanatory time control UPS. Enable time control UPS, yes. Explanation here, very nice explanation by the way. You can set the time settings. Explanation here, guys, just like, you know, I have this bad habit. Uh, whenever I have like attention, I'll always like click yes, 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 next, 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 next. But actually it's better to just stop and read it, will be better. Okay, you read it and you can set up to six time periods, when to charge and when to discharge. Uh, literally, you can program your A200 and B200, when to charge, when to discharge. It's really empowering, no pun intended. Okay, so uh, parameter settings here, battery state of charge low and battery state of charge high. So I wanna set state of charge to 10%. That means when the battery hits 10%, I want it to cut off any load to save power. And when the battery hits 90%, I want it to stop charging. So this is state of charge low and state of charge high. And again, the explanation is here. Next we have um, PV priority UPS. So we can, what you can do here is reserve capacity for PV charting, but be realistic guys. Look, if it's very sunny, I get it. Set it to, I don't know, 90%. But if it's not sunny, guys, be realistic, I said 90%. Set it to something like maybe 60%. So that means you want 60% of the battery capacity to be charged from your solar panels, from PV, right? And the rest from alternative charging methods, like from AC wall outlet. Okay, what else? Uh, 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 let me see, uh, customize UPS. So very self-explanatory, enable or disable grid charging status and time control status, okay? And that's it, let's go back. Maximum grid input current. You have 15 amps in basic mode, okay? And to go to advanced mode, you don't have to kill a dragon. You don't have to kill the big boss. You don't have to be our VIP member. All you wanna do is email Blue Eddy customer service, and then they will send you the password. And you enter the password, and by the way, it's not a password, guys. Don't waste your time, don't try. <laughs> um, and they will email you a password, and you can now have amperage up to 30 amps. But by default, you have 15 amps and you can set it to anything from one amp to 15 amps. So it can be, can be eight amps. Let's try. Yes, it can. It can be eight amps. Give it some time to figure it out. So it still shows, it still shows us 15 amps, but you can set it from one to eight amps here. Okay, cool. Next, we have buzzer settings. So you can set it to on or off. Now I keep it on because guys, have you heard what happened when I enabled split phase on purpose to show you guys how uh, alarms work, right? We, we heard this buzz and it was very helpful. It was a little bit anxiety provoking, but like it was helpful. So uh, I like keeping it on. If you don't want it on, you can turn off here. Touch sound. Now, I used to like it. I used to like this touch sound. You're touching it and you can hear the sound. So you can hear an instant feedback. But now I don't really like it, so I just turn it off. I prefer it silent, okay? Next, we have backlight brightness. It can be as dim as this, all right? And as bright as this. Okay, cool. Next, we have day settings. Day settings. So we can set a day, for example, 28, right? We can set the uh, date and we can set the time here let's go next sleep time 
of the screen. When do you want the screen to turn off? After 30 seconds, I doubt it. After one minute, uh, still not long enough. Five minutes, better or never, okay? And with one click, you can just go back to the default factory settings for the United States of America. And it is an amazing feature. If you don't really wanna like figure out how to use it, guys, this one, just like you, something is malfunctioning, right? Go to settings, next, 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 next. Restore factory settings USA, yes. And you're all done. Okay, next data. We have product info. We have your model here, AC300. We have serial number here. We have your DSP version, ARM version, HMI version. We have our battery management system versions here. Very useful data when you want to access customer service. They might ask you, sir, what is the serial number, SN? And you'll say, okay, it's this one, right? Okay, let's go back. Inverter and charger info. We have PV input, we have grid input, we have AC output and DC output. All this info we could access from the home page, right? But we also have it very well organized here separately. One more time in the inverter and charger info here. Battery information. Again, we could access this from the home page, remember? Like this. Same, right? But we also have it very well organized here in data, battery information. Let's go back. Alarm history. So it will show us when do we have an alarm, what is the occurrence time, what is the error code. Let's go back, back to alarms. We have no current alarms. And if we had alarms, we can clear them like this. Now, clearing the alarm will not resolve the problem. But if you already resolve the problem, now you can clear the alarms. Okay, guys, so this is the screen of AC300. Don't worry, the screen of AC500 is very similar, so we will not be spending that much time talking about AC500. Okay, all right, guys, very good to see you guys in the comments. Don't forget that we have our next giveaway right now, and the giveaway is the phone tripod. Phone tripod, let's go. So guys, if you're new here, please remember to give us a like. Thank you so much. And let's get started. So guys, what you want to do right now is keep typing Blue Eddy, Blue Eddy, Blue Eddy. And I'm taking a screenshot in 10 seconds, guys. We're giving away this stylish phone tripod. Let's go. 10 second countdown starting right now, guys, if you are ready. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Okay. And who is the winner? Let's take a look. I can't see him from here. Perry Albert. Perry Albert, congratulations. <laughs> Perry, you got our Blue Eddy phone tripod. Okay, now let's go on Facebook and let's do this giveaway on Facebook. Okay, guys on Facebook, keep typing Blue Eddie. Let's see who's getting this phone tripod. Okay, so here we are and 10 second countdown starting right now, guys. Keep typing. I'm taking a screenshot in 10 seconds. So let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, let's go. Okay, so let's see who is the winner. And the winner is Clint Sturm. Congratulations, Clint. Okay, congratulations. You got our phone tripod. Awesome. Guys, from the winners, remember to, the giveaway winners, remember to e email us at livestream at blueeddy.com. Okay, we have one more giveaway here today, which is going to be in 25, it's going to be Bloody Minute Fridge. Yeah, yeah it's going to be Bloody Minute. Uh, yes, but here's the thing, guys. The Bloody Minute Fridge will be only given away once on YouTube. So what you want to do is to jump to our YouTube live stream before the last giveaway. So Mia, I think we can send the link later. We will send the link to our YouTube live stream so we can just join our YouTube live stream with one click. Okay, we'll send the link in the Facebook live stream shortly. Don't worry, you still have like 20 minutes or so, 25 minutes. 
remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once you subscribe, you can immediately start uh, commenting, right? So if you haven't subscribed, you can't comment. Uh, this is just the settings in our YouTube studio. Okay, great. Guys, if you have any questions about ACE300 and B300 or AC500 and B300S or EB70S or any power stations for that matter, do ask. We are here to answer your questions, okay? Now, what I'm saying right now that we're having very, a very vivid conversation and um, you guys are enjoying, so I like it. Okay, cool. What else, guys? I would love uh, us to take a look at the A300's input, okay? Because the A300 input will show us many things about charting A300. So the input is here on this side. Move it. I'll just move it a little bit. Okay, there we go. So we have our input right here. So this is the uh, AC input. Okay, let's zoom in here. Awesome. So it says from 100 to 120 volts and 30 amps maximum. Okay. Um, so we have up to 3000 watts. If you have a 30 amp and 120 volt input source, and you need to buy this L1430 um, charting cable. Now, if you have a standard 15 amp and 120 volt wall outlet, you will still have 1800 watts of input, which is quite high input. All right, so what we have here is a DC input, 12 to 150 volts DC and 12 amps by two, okay? So we have, again, 12 to 150 volts, 12 amps by two. It accepts 2,400 watts of solar input maximum. And what we have here is a communication interface. This is to connect two AC300s together, just in case you want to go split phase mode and uh, you want to connect two 300s together so that you can connect twice the battery capacity, that is four B300 batteries to each power station. I'm sorry, to each a300 and you can uh, with fusion box you will have this one 240 volt output you will have four standard 15 amp 120 volt outputs and one 30 amp and 140 volt output or actually 50 amp let me i'm not sure i'm not certain about that but at least guys you can check it out on our website um check out that fusion box okay what we have here is it's called um it doesn't have a name, but it's like a battery expansion port, okay? So this is what it looks like. So you can connect up to two um, batteries to each A300, uh, and you can also connect B300 batteries between themselves. So we can just take a little bit lower here. You can see that we have one and two expansion ports here. So you can connect up to six, uh, sorry, up to four uh, B300 batteries to one AC300. Now, guys, you probably noticed something really exciting here, right? This is the DC input, that's right. So um, B300 has its own DC input. How do, we, how do we recharge AC300, guys? Let me just put it very simple. Look, what are we recharging? We are recharging a battery. What is AC300's battery? AC300 doesn't have a battery. This is AC300's battery. So we will be recharging B300 from the inputs of AC300, right? But also we can speed up charting by connecting more solar panels because B300 has its own input, DC 12 to 60 volts and 10 amps, perfect. And we ha even have this adapter input. Look, 58.8 volts DC and eight amps. Go ahead and connect your standard T500 adapter to charge even faster. And this is the T500 adapter you guys are probably very familiar with uh, from uh, a Internet Max and other models. So connect this adapter to speed up charting. It's definitely nice that this pan that this uh, battery has its own inputs. So we can use it on its own and we can speed up charting. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, so that is about it for AC300. Now let's talk about its older brother, AC500. What is the difference between AC500 and AC300? Which one should I get? 
how do you, how do you decide? Let let me just guys tell you what difference is, and you will decide for yourself which one you should get. Okay, let me check some comments. Let me check. Hello, not slim one. Welcome to the live stream, guys. We have so many new people. I am really happy. Hello, bird window. Uh, hello, Alice. Very good to see you guys. Remember to give us a like. Uh, by now we have, let me see, seven likes here. No, I don't believe it. We have to reload the live stream. And we have 32 likes. That's amazing. Okay, cool. So, yeah, let's run some devices from Ace 300. What I have here is this kettle with some water in it. And we're going to boil some water. Okay, now I can tell you how many times this water was boiled. Many, a lot. Okay, so let's plug it in. And let's turn AC on. Okay, and let's take a look what output is going to be. Um, output, it will show us, okay, I already turned on accidentally, but it shows us 1,300 watts. 1,300 watts from this one. Cattle. So apparently we, we cannot run this cattle from EB70S because EB70S limit is 800 watts. Okay, now let's add this hair dryer. Attention, this hair dryer is going to be loud, so lower your volume, especially if you're listening to this in your earphones. So let's plug this adapter in. Uh, I mean, sorry, this hair dryer, and let's turn this hair dryer on. Okay, let's take a look. 2,652 watts. 120 volts and 60 hertz. So you can actually, this is what the hairdryer looks like. You can run a normal hairdryer and a full-size kettle. Uh, can we zoom out so we can see the kettle a little better? Full-size kettle at the same time. Hairdryer and full-size kettle at the same time. Beautiful. Okay, let's turn it off. And let me guys show you the app control for AC300 because AC300 does have an app control. Okay, where is my phone? Here's my phone. I literally just looked at my phone and then I said, I was looking at my phone and asking, where is my phone? Uh, okay, so let's see. Bluetti. There we go. So go to my devices. Or if you connect it for the first time, simply click Add Device. My device is AC300. Let's find AC300. And there we go, guys. Just like that, we have our battery here, battery info. We have our settings here. So all of the settings that you could access from the screen. The screen turns off way too quickly. Let me set it to never. <laughs> OK. You can do it all from the app beautiful and convenient. So we'll play with the app later, but now, because we only have 25 minutes before the end of this live stream, okay, and I want to save some time, I want to also preserve some time for greetings, for, you know, for some Q&A and for the giveaway. Now let's talk about AC500 and B300S, that is our, that is our biggest modular solar generator. Okay, so we will be using this 150 um, amp, not volt, 150 amp cable. This is a thick cable. Can't argue with that. So uh, let's plug it in. Boom. I like the sound. It feels satisfac very satisfying. Perfect, very smooth. Let's lock it and let's turn it on. There you go. So AC500 and um, B300S. So what is the difference between AC300 and AC500, guys? It's a $1 million question, and I can answer that. So look, how many batteries can you connect to AC300's maximum? Four. But how about AC500? Six. You can connect six B300S batteries to one AC500. So what is the battery capacity gonna be? I mean, I don't know. Let's calculate it right now. 
3,072 by 6, 18,432 watt hours. And this just same as ACES 100. You can connect two ACES 100s together and you will have a split phase mode. So you can connect six batteries to one unit and six to the other. So six plus six is 12. And let's do 3072 by 12. So we'll be at 36,864 watt hours. But wait, there is more. So let's take a look at the outputs of AC 500 and see what is different comparing to comparing to um, AC 300. So number one, we have two 15 watt wireless charging pads at the top. Same. What we have here is a uh, 12 volt and 30 amp RV plug. This is the same. Okay. We have a 24 volt and 10 amp cigarette lighter port. Same. We have two USB-C ports as opposed to one USB-C port on a 600 so minor advantage, minor advantage. Uh, we have a USB-A port, a pair of USB-A ports here. Those are 18 watts and one pair of USB-A ports, which is five volts and three amps, 15 watts. So these are the same, just like on AC300. Oh, but look at this. Oh my God, what is behind those what is behind those covers? I, honestly, I don't even want to guess. So 20 amp max, 20 amp max, 20 amp max, wall out lads. We had 20 volt, 20 amp max, wall out lads. Oh, look at this. This is a 30 amp output. Didn't have that on AC300. Okay, 30 amp max, NEMA to 30, same as on AC300. And look at this, guys. Now, if you're not scared, I don't know, guys, how brave you have to be. 50 amps, 50 amperes. Oh my, oh no, I can't look, it's it's too, it's too crazy. 50 amp max output, 50 amp max and uh, 120 volts, Jesus Christ. So look at this guys, this is the output that you have on your portable uh, mobile solar generator. How cool is that? And it's a 5,000 watt, see 5,000 watts, as opposed to 3000 watts on AC300. So we can run more powerful devices. I mean, not just talking about kettles and waffle makers and hair dryers. We're talking about, you know, um, power tools. We're talking about some electric saws and things like that, guys. We can run those. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at B300S. In terms of outputs, it's all the same 12 volt and 10 amp cigarette light port. Uh, USB-C port 100 watts and USB-A port 18 watts. But um, one cool feature about B300S is that it has this self-heating mode so we can charge it under temperatures down to minus 4 Fahrenheit or minus 20 Celsius, okay? It's very cold and uh, it is temperatures you normally cannot charge your lithium iron batteries. Okay, all right, all right, guys. Now let's take a look at the screen of AC500. You will find a couple of features you will not have on AC300. Let's take a look here. Okay, so number one, we have six batteries. Just like I said, you can connect six batteries maximum. This is wonderful. Okay, next, we have a PV input, okay, same. A grid input, same. DC load, all right, this is the same as A300, and AC load, just the same, just the same as with A300. Okay, um, DC on and AC on and off, settings, language, AC output voltage, AC output frequency, DC input one input source, DC two input source, eco mode, machine type, working mode, silent mode, it does support silent charting mode. Okay, maxed current setup. This is where different starts. So by default, you have up to 15 amps, right? But actually you can go as high as 50 amps, advanced mode. It shows you, it says what to do. 
Um, it's, it, it tells you what to do, just to email customer service and they will send you the passcode. Next we have PV parallel enable or disable power lifting mode. Uh oh, we didn't have it on A300, power lifting mode. What do you mean by that? Uh, power lifting mode, this is a 5,000 watt AC inverter. I mean, it's powerful, but like you can run pure resistive loads up to 6,000 watt. Only pure resistive loads though, okay? But up to 6,000 watts under power lifting mode. Next, we have deep discharge mode. Oh, what is that? Well, deep discharge mode, guys. Don't use it, okay? Only use it when it's an emergency. So I told you guys, when the battery shows a zero, right? It's lying. It actually does have 10% more. It just doesn't want to go, you know, like this gym analogy. It doesn't want to go to failure. <laughs> it wants to. It wants to stop one, two reps before failure, right? So, uh, but if you want it to push to failure, you can go and enable deep discharge mode. I don't recommend that, guys. Don't do that. It's harmful for the battery. But if you want to do that. Uh, God forbid, if there is an emergency, right? Yeah, sure, go ahead and do that. At least you have this option here. A great peace of mind that just in case something bad happens and you're staying without power and you absolutely need to squeeze extra minutes, potentially dozens of minutes from this battery, at least you have this option of deep discharge. Okay, next we have buzz settings and touch sound, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and brightness of the, sc of the screen, uh, sleep time, restore factory settings, data, alarms, okay? Let me show you the app control for AC500. Okay, so by the way, guys, here is our application. It's called Blue Eddy. It's available on both Android and um, iOS, so go ahead and download it if you haven't yet. Click here on Blue Eddy. This is AC300. We want we want AC500. So what I like about AC500's app is that <clears throat> what we can do is we can connect it via Wi-Fi or via Bluetooth. We have both options. Okay. So let's try via Wi-Fi right now. Okay, cloud. Okay, it's connected. It says it's connected. Okay. Um, let me check if maybe I have two AC 500s. No, I don't. So let me try for my mobile data. I just switch to my mobile data and see if it works better like this. Okay. Anyway, guys, I'll figure that out, but if we can't connect right now, I'll just probably connect via, uh, maybe it's because my VPN is on, maybe that's the reason. Um, you can also connect via Bluetooth. So let's try it like this and Bluetooth. Okay, so there we go. So 45% right now, uh, we can click here, we can check the battery information. We can also go to settings. You can access user manuals from here. You can uh, learn user manuals. You can share this device to control with other people. You can, uh, my favorite one is uh, working mode. So you can customize your UPS here in the app. Definitely much more convenient. So um, working mode, customize UPS, PV priority UPS, right? So you can set the SOC settings here. Pretty cool. Okay. Next. Let's go to working mode and standard UPS. Standard UPS, uh, select UPS, standby, working mode, time control UPS. You can set a time frames here. I like it. it's very convenient to do that here. Okay, 39, 29, 28. Just choose right like this, 15 to 80, for example and manage charge and discharge time. You can set it all here, charge and discharge. For example, I want it to charge from midnight to 7 a.m. Then I want it to discharge from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Then I want it to um, charge again from 
let's say uh, 9 a.m. Okay, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. And then I wanted to discharge from 10 a.m. to 12. You got, you got it, guys. You got it. So just set it like this here in the app. You can also do it in the on the screen, okay, on this LCD screen. But I think it's just more convenient in the app. Anyway, it's up to you guys. So um, yeah, you can play with the uh, UPS mode, power lifting mode. Also, you can enable or and disable it in the app, okay, and silent charting and auto sleep of the screen and my favorite one firmware upgrades let's go iot upgrade okay so we're just having an upgrade right now in real in real time live okay cool so we are upgrading it right now we're transferring the data uh please not close the app or turn off the device okay we are at 13%, 14%, guys. It will take us really short time, real only to upgrade it. Um, I love upgrades. All right, cool. While we're waiting for the upgrade, we have 31 people here on uh, YouTube. And I think it's time for everybody to go on YouTube. So, guys, uh, hey, can we please send the link to Facebook, right? So we can invite people to our YouTube live stream, guys. Go on YouTube. Why? Because uh, our last giveaway, which is Bloody Minute Fridge, is only on YouTube. So please go, please click this link where we invite you to our live stream on YouTube. Four minutes before we, I, three minutes and 20 seconds, guys. I'm getting a little bit nervous, if I'm honest, because, I mean, it's a minute fridge, you know? <laughs> all right let's go guys let's go get oh no, no no it's too early to start three more minutes to go it's too early ah no it's an avalanche you can't stop it you know if someone starts typing ready <laughs> there is no way you guys are stopping we are, at the same time we are at 82 percent right now okay took us like what two minutes to upgrade it minute fresh for the win let's go okay Guys, hold a second. We have two like two 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 minutes, so don't rush. Okay, 98, uh, 99 percent. Oh, upgrade successful. Ah oh, man, it feels good. Okay, so AC five hundred. Let me connect with Bluetooth. For now, we also have Wi-Fi connection, but for now, I don't know why. I just ah oh, man, it's just so annoying. Um, wait a second. Why don't you show zero? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh no. Okay, Bluetooth. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, cool. So uh, let's go to settings and firmware upgrade and, 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 and let's check BMS version. Let's check if we have some upgrades. Check for upgrade. We are up to date. Okay, we are up to date. Cool. So we are up to date with uh, AC500. By the way, let's check the updates for AC300 just in case we have some updates for AC300. I don't want to miss them. Look, I like updates. Let's go to. Hold on. I can't see updates here. I can't see updates for AC300. Okay, how much time left? One minute and 24 seconds. About device. Okay. Okay, cool. So, um, maybe that's because I connected via Wi Fi. I don't know. I'll try that Bluetooth. Okay, guys, jump on YouTube, YouTube live stream. And, guys, hey, don't forget the links for A300 and A700 are placed in the description so you can get AC300 and B300, AC300 and B300 and PV350, AC300, B300 and PV420. Oh yeah, so I was right. So apparently if you want to access firmware upgrades, you have to connect via Bluetooth. So make sure you connect via Bluetooth, not via Wi-Fi. So, and we don't have any updates. We up to date, but yeah. But if you want to execute updates, firmware upgrades, make sure you connect it via, Bluetooth, via Bluetooth and not via Wi-Fi, like, like I am right now. 
Okay, cool. So, 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 so the links are in the description and in the comments too. Go ahead and get ace 300 or ac 500, guys. Okay, so it's we have eight minutes left before the end of our live stream and let's go. Oh, the timer. I mean, let's go, guys. Our last giveaway. Everybody ready? Bloody minute fridge. Everybody ready? Tw 32 people, guys. If you haven't given us a like yet, please do. Thank you so much, guys. We have 40 likes. Jesus, this is record breaking. Okay, okay. I love those bloody, I love those, uh, not bloody, I love those uh, YouTube uh, emoji a lot. I think they're cute. Okay, so let's go. Yeah, I love those emoji. It's a very smart way, by the way, because it occupies so much space. So it's a very smart way to send emoji. <laughs> you are genius. Okay, you are genius. Okay, guys, let's go. Keep typing, and I'm taking a screenshot. And look at you, like <laughs> it's so smart. Ten second countdown right now. I mean, I haven't figured out how to count, but I'll try. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. <laughs> five. Four. Three. Two. One. Let's go. Okay. Let's see who's the winner. Let's zoom in here. Let's zoom, 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 zoom in. Okay. And it is Perry Albert. Perry Albert. Congratulations. Congratulations, Perry Albert. You won our mini fridge. Okay. Congratulations, guys. One more time. Check out the offers for AC500 and Two B three hundred S for A three hundred and B three hundred S for A three hundred and B three hundred and three PV four hundred twenty portable solar panels. Um, these are biggest portable solar panels, four hundred and twenty watts of benefit from one panel, guys. Can you believe that? Portable one too. A three hundred and B three hundred, A three hundred and B three hundred and PV three hundred fifty, PV four hundred twenty. PV350, AC300, B300. Oh, man, a lot of power stations there. Okay, EB70. Do you guys still remember EB70S? EB70S, in case you forgot, this one, EB70S. Okay, EB70S and PV120, or EB70S and PV200. So check out the links in the description, and we even have discount codes for EB70S and 520 for and for uh, PV120 and for PV200. Check out the links in the uh, description and the codes there. And those codes expire in in what? In 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 five minutes, guys. You better be quick. So if you see discount codes, they expire in five minutes. So you want to use them now. Okay. Let's check if we have any questions about. Thanks, everyone. Okay. Congratulations, Perry. One more time. Let me see if we have any questions. Okay. All right, awesome. So, guys, five minutes left before the end of our live stream. Dear giveaway winners, remember to email us. Our email address is livestream at blueeddy.com. Send us your shipping address so we can ship it to you and your shipping information like your phone number and stuff like that. So we can ship the giveaway to you, okay? And then we talked about EB70S, PV200 portable solar panel, uh, AC300 and B300, AC500 and B200S, and many, many, many more power stations from Blue Eddy. Guys, thank you for choosing Blue Eddy. We are trying to uh, do our best, and we're doing our best, and uh, we're, using the be we're definitely using the best batteries, lithium iron phosphate batteries. So thank you for choosing Blue Eddy, guys. Uh, please follow us on YouTube and on uh, Facebook. Uh, on Facebook, we have Blue Eddy Global. And you can also check out our Amazon page, and you can check us out on uh, Twitter, on TikTok, on Instagram. 
Yeah, Nick, you just missed the giveaways, but that's fine because we have giveaways every single live stream, four times a live stream. So Nick, just follow us and also follow us on uh, YouTube so you can take part in free giveaways, okay, next time. So make sure you follow us on social media. Make sure you check out our website, blueeddypower.com. Again, it's blueeddypower.com. Go there and check out the offers. We have a lot of amazing deals. Check out our app. Our app is amazing. Look, just from your phone, you can access customer service. You can access, um, I mean, let me just show you guys what I mean. So we have forums here, okay? We have forums here, pretty amazing. We have stores here, we have service, we have extend warranty, refund, we have progress, installation, oh, I can't, oh, you can say it here, trade-in program, feedback, frequently asked questions about different power stations, like for example, about, let's find AC500, right? Can I use the fusion box in high voltage areas? Is AC500 waterproof? And all these questions will be answered here in the app pretty cool guys the app is amazing also you can go to our website guidelines you can learn about you can learn from vi videos you can learn from user manuals all in the app youtube reviews sponsored and unsponsored okay so hobotech for example reviews a lot of our power stations i love watching hobotech um okay so you can find it all here the reviews and jason i also love watching jason i um great reviews so you can watch the reviews right here on in the app okay so you can make a better decision um, warranty registered product and things like that just amazing so make sure you guys have the application if you have our power stations that have Bluetooth sorry I mean as long as a uh, power station has power station has Bluetooth it does have an app and even if you don't want to use the app, right? One thing you have is firmware upgrades, which is pretty cool. You can upgrade your firmware from the app. Okay. All right, let me check the comments and good night, everybody. Okay, good night, good night. And I will see you. Uh, how, my, how my eyes are doing? My eyes are doing great. Thank you so much for recovering well. It's been nine days since uh, the surgery, so I'm doing great. Thank you so much, guys, for asking. Okay, guys, I'll see you next time, and um, have a good night, guys. Take care. Thank you for choosing Blue Eddie. Bye-bye.